Today I'm reviewing for you an app called the Notification Toggle. The app itself is promising on the ability to let you modify or slash customize your notification pull-down menu. It will give you the option of either adding system preference settings or adding shortcuts to application straight out of your notification pull-down menu. Let's go ahead and dive in. The app was featured by J4Villain on the XDA forum threads. The thread discusses uh, what the application does and what it's intended to do, as well as give us a little bit of information on what are the compatibility issues at this point, as well as if you need to turn on GPS correctly, uh, you'd need to put that in the system apps folder. He also provides us uh, with an additional uh, set of icons. At the bottom of the post, you'll notice that there is a screenshot as well as a barcode to get you to the Google Play market. In the Google Play Store, just look for Notification Toggle by J4Villain. Uh, it goes in there and explains a little more information about what the app is doing and what you can do with it. Uh, the file size on the app is pretty small, but let's go ahead and dive in and open up the app on the phone. Let's open up the Google Play Store on the phone. Search for Notification Toggle by J4Villain. The app itself is free, so there is no an upgrade version at this point. Uh, let's go ahead and open up the application and uh, start looking at some of those options. First thing you'll notice when you open the application, you'll have four options of more cool apps by the developer, visiting the XDA forum, rating the application, or you know help providing translations to the application. If we click the next option, the first thing you'll notice is this is the first notification panel. It gives you two options uh, for notification. This is the first one. And you can go through the list of all the different options that you want to go through. You have Bluetooth settings, sound settings, Wi-Fi settings, and the list goes, it's a pretty nice, long, detailed list. If we click Next, we'll see that the second notification options come up. This is the same list. You have the option of adding more um, settings into the notification panel. So if we click Next, we'll go into the custom apps. This is where we'll be able to add a shortcut to the application in our notification toggle menu. If you click the Add the App, scroll down through the list. It takes a little bit to load because it has to scan through your applications, of course. And as you can see, the list is quite as extensive. You can see for the sake of this experiment, we'll let's go ahead and add Facebook. And we'll go from there. Next, you get the more options, and this is where you'll be able to add icon colors, downloading alternative icons, and change the toggle order. Nice little additional customization there. Last but not least, we get the FAQ. Uh, this is a little bit more extensive than what we saw originally in the XDA thread, and it's nicely provided after you add all those options and the notification toggle is ready for us to use. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring down our notification panel. So you'll see there's the Wi-Fi, the flashlight, the airplane mode, um, the power reset option, data sync, which I apparently added twice, and uh, a camera shortcut so that I can launch my camera straight out of my notification panel. Looks great. So what we see today is that the application delivers on what it's promising. It gives you a great way to modify or even customize your uh, notification pull-down menu. Works great on the MyTouch 4G as well as the Galaxy S3. Uh, not all the options work on the Galaxy S3, but uh, again, that's one of the main things that you need to keep in mind with this app. It doesn't work the same way on all devices. It's being updated. Uh, the developer does keep in mind that there are different, obviously, operating systems and different preferences in different devices. The way Samsung does things is different than the way HTC does. So we just keep that in mind. Um, other than that, it's a great app. Uh, please check it out and um, let us know. I uh, hope you guys are liking these videos and they're getting better. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys next week.